I've just bought myself a HDMI splitter because I've got Markham laptop and I want to put that image on to two screens. So that's going to go on to that television over there. And right around the corner, I need to get it onto that big television over there in my office. So, what do I do? Well, I bought one of these splitters. This was £10.95 from Amazon. And I'm going to show you how to connect it up. So, right, I've plugged... Are you paying attention? Right, I'm the, I've plugged the HDMI lead into there. Then that will go from the laptop into the input of the sink. So you put it into there. Right, that goes in there. Now, because we're coming out two ways, you will need a power supply. You get a power supply supplied with it, which is this. And I'm going to plug it in. Now, the other end of that is a USB, which on that, you can either plug that into your computer or in the back of the television. I'm going to plug it in to the back of the television. I've now plugged it in to the back of the television. So we've now got power to there. So, right, we've now got power to the splitter. Now, there's the two feeds we want to feed our two televisions with. So, we're now going to take a, a feed from this television and we're going to plug it into the first connection. So now there's the first one, right. So that should come up now. There, it's come up, so there you go. First screen. Now we want the television round the corner to come on. So now this is the lead. We're, this is the lead from there, which we're now going to plug into the other. Socket on the splitter. So now plugged it in. Now there's two. Now, so now you've got two. So now you've got from the laptop. HDMI lead coming out to the input of the splitter, power on, and then you've got your two signals coming out of the splitter, one to that two. Now the only trouble is, look, I'm getting that on that television. I'm not really sure why that is, but I've discovered if I connect it up, that up first, then that stops. Right, I've just now, I've just now connected that one up. So I've connected that one. So now that's stopped over there. I don't know why that is. So now I'm going to just connect that television up. At times that like this, you need a cameraman. So here's the second one going. No, that's all right, see? So that picture's all right. So that picture's all right. For some reason, I had to connect that one up first. Maybe it's because it's got a longer run. So if you get that problem of the screen going berserk, then you need to connect that one up first and that one up second. So now we've got all three displays. There. So that's our three displays. There we go. You see, although we've got the mirror image of the laptop on both of these screens, ah, you say, you, but you only want the working part of it on one screen and the other part of it. So say you're doing karaoke, you want that box there on them two screens, if you're running a karaoke, you want it on them two screens, but you don't want it on this screen. You don't need it on this screen because you don't need to see people what you're working on. So anything on this screen here, you don't want the public to see what you're working on. So how do we do that? Well, this is what we do. Uh, right click, go to our old friend control panel. Now, adjust screen resolution. Go on to that. 
Now, what you want to do, not it will say duplicate these displays. You don't want that. You want to extend these displays. And when you click that and click OK, keep changes. And there you have it. So now uh, it can only see that on there and there. But on here, they can't see, the public can't see what you're working on. So what we're going to do now, we're going to drag this box over to that screen there. There we go. And then what we're going to do is grab the corner of that and bring it down. There you go. So, now when we play a song, let's do Suspicious Minds Elvis Presley, See, it goes on them screens there, which is your, uh... We're caught in a trap. I can't walk out. Well, there you go. Uh, but can't do too much of that because it's copyright, isn't it? Um, so there we go. You can work quietly away and you can um, even surf the internet. Well, no collection at the moment because I've got the uh, Wi-Fi on. But you can surf the internet and do anything you like and... The displays, say if you want to work on your computer, on that. See, this comes up there, you're working away, but, and the karaoke's going in the background. So there you go. That's how you solve it. So you want to extend the displays. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, give me a thumbs up and a like. And you could even share it on Facebook. Ta-da. See you later.